New Alfa Romeo Stelvio 2017 Review The all-new Alfa Romeo Stelvio SUV proves to be a strong rival for the Audi Q5 and BMW X3 as we drive it for the first time. Verdict 4 Star The Alfa Romeo Stelvio is the brand's first foray into the increasingly lucrative SUV market, and it's a strong and near-excellent contender. It drives as good as it looks, and has a fine cabin with much improved build quality. And with prices likely to start at under £35,000 it will provide strong competition to BMW soon to be replaced X3, Audi's Q5, the Jaguar F-Pace and Mercedes GLC. It's even a worthy challenger to lower-end versions of the fantastic Porsche Macon. The Germans have company, and it's very strong indeed. The Stelvio SUV is very possibly the most important car in Alfa Romeo's 105-year history, according to company boss Reed Bigland. But if that sounds like hyperbole given Alfa's illustrious past, then consider this, the Stelvio will account for more than half of all Alfa sales globally once it hits the street later this year and in the process it will transform Alfa into a major world player in the premium segment. It'll spearhead a fresh new marketing push, not just into the USA but also China and all of Asia as well. In the UK it could even account for as much as two-thirds of Alfa sales over the next five years, so it's a fundamental car for the famous old Italian car brand. Based heavily on the underpinnings of the well-received Giulia Saloon, the Stelvio will initially come with two engine choices in the UK, a 2.0-liter turbo petrol unit with 276 bhp and 400 nm, or a 2.2-liter diesel with 207 bhp and 470 nm. Both versions will come with an 8-speed automatic gearbox as standard, with a manual not even available as an option. Both will be all-wheel drive, featuring the same clever Q4 system pioneered on the Giulia. Eventually a more potent 503 bhp flagship will join the mainstays using the same Ferrari-derived V6 twin-turbo as the Giulia Quadrifoglio. The 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint for this pound 60,000 plus mega Stelvio will be under 4 seconds, says Alpha, but it won't go on sale here until 2018. So for the time being, Stelvio customers will have to make do with the two versions we've driven here. So, what are they like? We tried the petrol version to begin with and the first thing that struck us, long before moving away in it, was how well made it felt from behind the wheel. The dash architecture is almost identical to the Julia's, with a central infotainment screen to the side of the two main instruments. There's more than a whiff of junior Maserati to the interior design, and the sense of quality is in a different league from Alphas of old. The driving position is 190 mm higher than in the Julia, but you don't feel to be perched up too high in the Stelvio. The balance between increased SUV visibility and snug sportiness is about right, in fact, much like it is in the Porsche Macon. Space in the rear seats is good but not class leading, with room for a 6-foot rear passenger behind a similarly sized driver, but no real luxuriant sense of space. The boot however is as big and usable as it gets at this level, featuring split seats and impressive height and width. In typical Alpha fashion, no exact measurements have been given. On the move, the Stelvio displays a lightness of touch that is initially quite surprising for an SUV even a small sporting one such as this. The electric power steering is ultralight in its weighting but also very direct, while the ride is excellent. Body roll is extremely well controlled to the point of virtual non-existence in most corners. Performance from the 2.0-liter turbo petrol engine is strong but not mind-boggling, despite Alpha's claim of 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 5.7 seconds. But even if it never feels that quick, there is little lag and a healthy shove of acceleration in the mid-range. The sound from the engine is a touch disappointing, despite the car's dreaded noise amplification system, while the way it refuses to rev much beyond 6,000 rpm before the limiter intrudes is frustrating, too. Both aspects are the result of having to adhere to increasingly strict emissions regulations, say the engineers. What does work very well indeed, though, 
is the 8-speed ZF automatic gearbox. In automatic mode it's as smooth and seamless as you could want, and in manual it provides an extra hit of driver control, with smooth but fast changes occurring at the flick of a paddle. The diesel Stelvio is the one to go for, though. Although it has less power than the petrol, there's a chunk more torque on tap, which lends the Stelvio a deeper level of performance where it counts. And because there's little or no trade-off against the petrol in terms of engine and exhaust noise, the diesel's extra torque mated to its superior economy means it has the edge overall. Speaking of which, on paper the Steflio diesel actually surpasses its German rivals for efficiency, Alpha says the 2.2 diesel will emit just 127 g/km of CO2. A less powerful Audi Q5 puts out 132 g/km, while the aging BMW X3 Strive 20D emits a less pleasing 142 g/km. Even the petrol-powered Alpha will return 40 mpg with 161 g/km CO2 emissions. UK prices and specs are yet to be revealed but Alpha tells us all Stelvios will come with a contemporary infotainment system. The car we drove had the larger 7-inch setup, which was intuitive to use and full of functionality. The screen also displays info about the DNA dynamic drive program that alters the parameters for the steering, suspension, throttle map and so on. We're told that only the top versions will come with leather seats, which is a shame given a number of rivals feature such luxury features across the board. Inside there's a high quality mix of aluminium, real wood, leather, and fabrics, however again differing in style from version to version. All will have either standard or optional forward collision warning, blind spot monitoring, active cruise control and rear cross path detection. Key Specs Model, Alfa Romeo Stelvio 2.2 Diesel Price, from £33,000, EST. Engine, 2.2 liter 4 CYL diesel. Power slash torque, 207 bhp slash 470 nm. Transmission, 8 speed auto, 4 wheel drive. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 6.6 seconds. Top speed, 134 miles per hour. Economy slash CO2, 58.8 mpg slash 127 g slash km. On sale, now.